A guy named Tom Pellis of Greensburg, Pennsylvania came up with a pattern I'm going to tie for you today. Now, quick background on Tom Pellis. In 1966, he started a construction company in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, which is out in the western part of the state in the mountains near Pittsburgh. And aside from being a successful businessman, he was an Army veteran. He was also a member of several organizations you'll be familiar with, National Wild Turkey Federation, NRA, Trout Unlimited. And one of the more interesting facts is he was a waterfowl decoy carver of some renown. And according to his obituary, he passed away in 2006, but he won a world title with the International Wildfowl Decoy Carvers Association. And that's an association that I didn't even know existed until doing this research today. Now that's all interesting stuff, but why I'm talking about him today is because he came up with a pretty cool pattern. And I first saw it in Eric Leiser's Book of Fly Patterns. Now, the book didn't say when he created it, but obviously it was sometime before 1987 when the book was published. Now, it's a pretty simple fly. It might remind you of a Miller nymph, but lots of people have never heard of that one. That's a semi-forgotten fly from the Smoky Mountains. But the distinguishing feature is a brown palmered hackle clip short. And that's a technique that's not used all that often, but it's a really cool fly. Not at all hard to tie. I think you're going to like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, a Pellis muskrat. Pretty cool looking pattern, very simple. Now, it might remind you of a Miller nymph, if you're familiar with that, which you might not be because that's a semi-forgotten Smoky Mountain pattern. Looks fairly similar to this, but it has a goose biot tail. Now, I am gonna weight this, and I've still got some 015 on my bobbin holder here, so I'm just gonna put uh, a layer of this, about maybe two thirds of it up. And that was a lead-free wrap, which if you've used that before, you'll know it's not as easy to break or helicopter off as regular lead. Now, put some black thread down. Mine's already splitting up on me, but that's fine. We'll be, we'll be okay. Put a little dam behind it, then a dam up in front of it, and then we'll bring it back down to the bend of the hook. Now let's catch in a tail. And it's just brown hackle fibers, and not a whole lot of them. I don't know. It's, 10, 15 or so. This is the same from the same cape that I'm going to use for the rib. So get those caught in. I think that's fine right there. Neither snip or bury the excess up here. Now I'm just going to bury it. Take my thread back here. Now let's catch in a small feather, hackle feather, which we're going to palmer up for the rib. This guy right here. And I'm not really even worried how I have it oriented on here. I'm not getting, uh, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to get it perpendicular or anything like that. Just really going to catch it in and however it ends up, it ends up. So let's get our thread kind of back here and put a good bit of wax on it for our dubbing. Now the dubbing, just muskrat. So I got a little patch here and I'm going to snip it off with my scissors. And if you get any, you know, with the guard hair, just pull the guard hairs out. There are some nymphs that use muskrat and leave the guard hairs in, but it certainly gives you a big spiky body. So I'm going to dub about three inches or so on here, and that'll probably get me about halfway up, and then I'll have to do it again to get all the way the rest of the way up. And you can see I let that get a little bit fuzzy on me there in the middle. And I wasn't doing that on purpose, it just got a little out of hand. But I'm not going to worry about it because this polymer tackle can squish down any of those we have on there. And don't worry about the size of feather you use for this. We're going to snip it all off short here in just a second. Now, what I do right here, I just put a half hitch because I've learned from experience that, you know, sometimes I will accidentally snip my, my thread right there when I'm cutting this, and you just make a big mess of it. So go ahead and take your scissors, trim this thing short all the way around, just snip it and blow it as you go. Okay, I think we're fine right there. You see I got that snip pretty short. I got a couple of 
fibers going forward right there, but we'll be able to take care of that when we're doing our head. And the collar hackle on this is more brown, but this time hen, that, that we just wrapped as a palmer, that was uh, a rooster from a half cape. But this is just a brown hen, and I wanna catch it in from the tip right here. Got a little tie-in point. Let's do, I don't know, three or four good wraps right here. I'm gonna fold this back over on itself just to make sure I really get it locked in right here. Now you will have that little nub right there to snip off, or you could probably just leave it. It's not gonna be that noticeable, but we'll go ahead and snip it off. Now, two wraps, maybe three, I guess whatever your preference is, however full you want this guy hackled. And I'm just gonna try to preen these back as I wrap it around. That was one full wrap right there. Here's what two does for us. I think we can get away with three right here. Now just clean this up like you would any soft hackle wet fly head. Pull everything back. Take your thread right back behind the eye. And then ramp it back up. I've got one fiber right there that doesn't want to stay back, but I'll get it. And don't be afraid to put a good size head on this. It is a nymph. You don't need a tiny head. Okay, now let's whip finish it, see if we have any cleanup. Okay, it is fuzzy, but I kind of like that. And I've got one fiber sticking forward right there. I could just try to snip that or, or burn it off, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's not going to keep me from getting my tippet up through there, so I'm just going to put a he drop a head cement on this guy and call it done. So there you go, everybody. A Pellis Muskrat. Pretty simple, pretty cool looking fly. Now, I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time.